649. Emily Anderos, Andy Brown joining us to talk about that forecast that we're seeing for today, and it's hot, it's humid. <laughs> I like how you said that. I mean, it certainly is hot and humid. Yesterday was brutal, and even the day before we were at 92. Yesterday we hit 88. Today, lower 80, so seasonably average, but still going to feel pretty muggy out there. As we do have any outdoor plans, I know we've got a lot of crews cleaning up today. And the good news is we are going to be tracking mostly dry conditions. Right now, dual Doppler radar, though, showing those big storms just along the Red River right there. Even out towards Dallas, they were just under a tornado warning and uh, possibly dealing with some of those straight line winds and even out towards just south of Lawton. Now most of that activity over towards Wichita Falls. Some of these storms as we go towards later this morning and even in the afternoon, we should start to see some storms lingering further towards the northeast and I'll talk about that more here in just a little bit. But as we go throughout that morning, we'll notice just a very slim chance for an isolated shower to pop up and then really just keeping that 30% chance for widely scattered showers and storms. Some of those holding mainly for for southern counties, but of course we can't rule out some activity here for northeast Oklahoma, some of which could be marginally severe. Now, as we go towards later this evening, we're going to drop those to mostly dry conditions by about seven o'clock tonight. So if you do have any evening to late night plans, the majority of us can expect some dry conditions. I mentioned some of these storms can be marginally severe. We are Tulsa highlighted in that green and highest chance is going to stay from Oklahoma City Norman further towards the south for those strong to severe storms this morning. It has certainly been a very active year so far for severe weather, especially with tornado count here across the area. Meteorologist Annie Brown has more details. Yeah, that's right, Emma. In fact, I'm crunching these numbers and I want to bring you the latest details on what we're seeing with those tornadoes so far, not only for Northeast Oklahoma, but for the entire state. 98 so far tornado reports. These are preliminary counts. Uh, April of 2024, we saw 55 across the state. That was an Oklahoma record. Oklahoma average is 57, so we're well above average. And Oklahoma's yearly record was 149, set back not too long ago in 2019. Now, something else that's pretty interesting, too, is on this calendar, this is your month of May. Every single day has had at least a slight risk, which is a level two out of five for a potentially stronger storm. Now, again, this is for across the U.S., not just Oklahoma, although Oklahoma has seen a lot of days with severe weather. Now, since the enhanced risk was introduced in 2014, this is the most number of enhanced days, which is a three out of five for that strong development May has ever seen. Emma. Wow, and in fact, it looks like we're adding today to that and even on into tomorrow. Really very, very active May across portions of the United States. Now, as we go into today, the majority of this activity once again holding off further towards the south. But as we go later this morning, closer to about 11 o'clock, we're starting to see some pop up isolated showers, maybe a thunderstorm developing here for northeast Oklahoma. This is not exact by all means, but as it is showing some activity there, but as we go into tonight, the majority of us expecting some mostly dry conditions. And then as we go into your Wednesday, we're going to keep a scattered chance, but highest for the majority of us to see showers and storms. More widespread will be Thursday night into Friday. Now, keep in mind, though, we do have some some areas out towards Rogers County, Mays County, who are still without power. So make sure you're checking on them, especially as we're doing some of that cleanup here within the next few days. This is going to be the chance we're going to have to watch because we are expecting some heavy amounts of rainfall and especially with those warmer temperatures. Just make sure that they're uh, getting the water, the food that they need, and we're going to keep tracking those temperatures eventually in the upper 70s by the end of this week.